get some of the key learnings where the Volta is now a mature and proven technology and there have been both successful and less successful deployments. What we came across in the panel session was that the key to the successful deployments is the user experience, giving them a vastly improved user experience in terms of voice codecs, but not remove any of the services that they are used to, like ring back tones, prepay. These are the key things, as well as introducing new services based on Vaulty as a platform, such as voice over Wi-Fi. Vaulty is the catalyst to move to an all IP IMS based core network, which fundamentally means this is the first time that a mobile network operator service, voice, has been independent of both the user agent, the device, and the, and the access network. This means that Vaulty is an enabler for the next generation of services, not just voice calling, but the move to enable the operator to move to things like contextualized communication, multi device support support for seamless devices and new paradigms enabled by WebRTC and other technologies. The move to the cloud is actually a two-step process. The first is virtualization. The second is cloudification of the applications. It's really the latter that really enables NFV. It's where you re-architect the products to fully exploit and realize the benefits that NFV would provide. Virtualized deployments have been around for a number of years now. So we have commercial deployments of Vaulty that are virtualized. The next stage is NFV, cloudification, and fully automated networks enabled by Mano. 5G is more than just another G. It's actually a new type of network, dynamic, automated, supporting the shift in power time from communication between people to communication between things. This actually means a new way of architecting their network based on NFV technology, but more significantly, microservices. And MITAL at the leading edge of microservices architectures and exposing the network via open APIs. In the next three years, the biggest change in networks will be the move to a DevOps model. This will be a paradigm shift by the way the operators build and operate their networks, and will have to be matched by the vendors. And this is all in support of continuous development, continuous innovation within the networks.